If you're watching this closer to the time that I make this, you will know that it's been a while since I've done uh, the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. There's been several reasons, some of them personal game-related wise. I've been playing a lot of um, Gloomhaven, kind of really got into that game. But today I decided I'm going to just put that game away so we can get back to this, partially because um, we're gonna, I'm going to be moving the operation closer to an internet hookup so I can do the Twitch thing. Uh, the reason I'm doing that, I know some people prefer these these videos that I cut together. Um, some people probably don't care. Most people probably don't care. But if you care, there's a reason I'm doing that, and that is because I like the I, I want to take it another level beyond the real people, so that real people can influence the real people who are influencing me um, as I play the multiplayer solitaire game. So that said, we're gonna try to. Um, finish up Origins How It Became Human. I don't know if we'll do it today. I actually haven't looked at the game in a couple months. Uh, but that said, it's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. And let's take a look at how things are going, because it's been a while, right? Yeah. If you're watching this back-to-back -back sometime in the future, I have to apologize. Um, I don't really feel bad about it, but I have to apologize because I'm going to be kind of like refiguring where everything is. Um, if you just watched the last video and now you're watching this one, obviously, You'll know all this, unless I did a poor job explaining, and I've heard that the, the Twitch videos I was making are kind of blurry anyway, so hopefully you can see a little better here. Um, so, just kind of got to get reoriented here. We have Sid. She's the alpha. Where is she at? She's pretty far back. Okay, I, I kind of remember there's some, some things with slavery, I think. And what's our climate like? Okay, so we have the jungle climate. Um... So I think it looks like Sid and Watermelon are both kind of trapped down here, looks like. And the other entities, let's see. Okay, our hobbits are also not doing very well, and that is Smudge. Not doing so well. He's he's going for the new world, but he's waiting. there's an ice age. So he's stuck there and there. And then our two like heavy hitters here, which are Kaz and Cat and Cowboy are kind of contending for most of the world. And that's kind of where we are. Um, I guess we could look at points, because actually the game could end fairly soon, if you see here. Um, so as you know, the game ends when it gets to here, full game ends, their cube. So basically, either Kaz and Cat or Cowboy just need to go into a golden age, which means energy three is what's needed, and that's what they don't have. And I think in order to get that, they're going to have to get some fuel, maybe. Let's look at our energy chart. Um, yeah, they want a fuel with some negative O, and they need some military to get that there, too. Um, oh, no, it depends on the... Yeah, it depends on the, the material. Okay, so they need some oil or uranium is what they need, or just a card that gives it to them, but I don't think there are. I think you actually have to mine the resource. So let's do that, and I'm just going to go through turn by turn, and rather than tell you everything that's going on, I'll give you a little recaps as we're going. Um, oh yeah, and here's the other interesting dynamic that was going on in terms of our two leaders right now, Kaz and Cat and Cowboy, is that um, Kaz and Cat has the footprint advantage, so she can starve out Cowboy if she gets enough population on the map. She doesn't have any administration cards, which makes that a little more difficult. She doesn't want to go into perpetual chaos. Cowboy has the metallurgy advantage. Um, I was, we were going to talk about points. Okay, let's go ahead and score points. Sometimes I have to remember to do that in this game because normally I don't think about it when I'm playing. Um, I and swords are for uh, Sid. She's got three points there, plus three. She's got six points. Uh, Watermelon's got three, and she scores on I and stars, but she doesn't have anything, so she's got three. Smudge scores on stars and uh, administrative so he's got four six so he's tied with sid right now um kaz and cat has three and under here she's got another two which she can probably get going when she gets into the golden age so even though she's far ahead actually you, this is what always i forget about when i play this game or because i'm just enjoying the game even opposed i do this i don't think about my points I've had games where I was like, what? it seemed like I was way far ahead. Looks like you're far ahead. You're like, got all this infrastructure and everything. But the points are, I guess, what matters. If you want to say you won the game. All right. And so I've, I've 
end of the game, and then someone else had way more points than me. I think that's probably happened. Okay, Cowboy's looking a little better here. He's actually been pretty dominant. He's got four plus Elder. I don't know. I forget how many if you just count. I think you count them all. So that's another four, eight. So Cowboy's the clear leader right now um, with eight points. All right, now I'll do what I said I was going to do and start playing. Okie do. Everyone's had a turn. Sid, she um, went into a golden age and took this card here from someone's discard pile. So that'd be useful because of this horse trading. Uh, it's a cultural diffusion, so she'd be able to bid on things from other people. Unfortunately, Watermelon took that from her discard pile, held on to it. But Sid did go into a golden age, and that's really nice. Watermelon, for her part, she got into Asia. Um, can't quite remember what else she did. I think that's that was the main accomplishment for her turn. She got that card that I showed you. That's about it. Um, Smudge, I had forgotten that, that he, since his maritime is so low, he is just stuck here. He can't leave these areas even if he wants to. So he's just waiting for the Ice Age to end. Um, he also went into a Golden Age, though, so that's nice for him. Uh, over to Kaz and Kat. She took a card from Cowboy and played it, I believe... She played, yeah, she played it for the fecundity decrease, which kept her from having to go into chaos. Then she uh, spawned a cube here, which uh, made it so Cowboy starved to death. And that was not, she, you know, just kind of advanced a little, but more kind of took him down a little bit. He, in return, drew a card and then also stole a card from her, played it for a number of resets. So he has all this stuff back up and an elder going. So he's looking pretty good for his next turn, even though he did just lose a cube and his innovation is decreased. Uh, let's go back for the next turn with Sid. Okay, we're, we're midway through the turn here. Um, Sid didn't do a whole lot. Drew some cards. That's basically it. She's kind of stuck. She can't go anywhere. Um, watermelon, she got an elder, which is great, and spread out more. She's trying to go into chaos. She did not do that because um, chaos would get her into iconoclasm. Uh, the interesting thing, which is why I wanted to film right now so I didn't forget about this, is that um, Smudge, he finally got some canoes. He figured out canoes. And fortunately, watermelon, dude, Thanks to her expansion, he's still stuck over there. He can't, because his footprint is also one. So he can't, like, he can't attack her because you get a disadvantage for going through, you know, attacking by boat, basically. If you use a boat in an attack, you have a disadvantage. Um, and so she would just kill him. And he can't, like, coexist with her because he doesn't know how to farming works or any of that. So he's still stuck, even though he, uh, he kind of, like, unlocked one of the doors... Uh, he found that there was another door in front of him with a completely different key. All right, just at Kaz and Cat's turn, she got the police on her side. Uh, she drew that card, then took a, a card to get an elder from Sid's discard pile. Uh, and, and she was top on it, and no one else really wanted to bid on it. Actually, Sid would have liked to bid on it, but she was ineligible because of her era. So she has a police force, and then she's spread out further. She's going to be starving people out unless they do something about it on their turn. Uh, Cowboy's going to have a chance to respond. Let's see what he does. All right, Cowboy got hepatitis. That's what he did. Let's see if he goes into chaos. He's not going to play any cards. He's going to save those for his next turn. Um, let's see. And he can do that because his information rating is so high due to the Pythagorean tradition. And he does go into cast, so he's going to have to lose half his cubes. I think he will pick one of these. I think I remember it being rounded down. Um, but his turn's done. Oh, did, I don't think he... Does he have to resolve starvation? I should check that because that's going to change what he decides to do. Let's see if... Because I know your turn immediately ends, but you still have to do all the starvation and all the other things that are kind of end of turn stuff where you don't really get a choice. Um, I'm going to have to go to the rule book. See you soon. Although she's stuck in the past developmentally, developmentally um, Sid was, was able to score four points this turn. She um, gave herself an elder by taking a card from someone else's thing, had drawn this card, had this card in the, from in the past, um, and then was able to take them both. Unfortunately, she does lose an elder out of it, but that's four points. That's pretty good. She's getting close to Cowboy. I'm not going to refigure the points now. I forget what he had. 
because uh, I was just like, oh, he has a lot more points, but I guess you kind of have to keep the sum in mind, I suppose. All right, let's go on to Watermelon at all. All right, we had a climate change on Smudge's turn. It is, uh, the deserts are now Savannah. Um, Kaz and Cat, she made a new town up here and did some espionage on Cowboy, took a card. That's what she did. Um, Cowboy, for his part, he, um, oh, he did quite a few things. He, um, did a barbarian raid with this card, got his, uh, seamanship up, his maritime up to ships, so he can, he has a lot more freedom of movement now. And then he also got his immunization up as, along with three elder increases. This is huge. So these are dentists and surgeons. I guess dentists are wise men who have a lot to tell you and can really drive things. Um, and I think that's about it. He, he killed some cubes with a cube, and then that cube that killed the cubes starved out. And now we're on to a next turn, but things are really starting to open up here. Things are starting to change quickly. I feel like we're on the downward slope. Who knows? That boy just got another two points off of Watermelon's turn with his uh, pictography riding. He was able to outbid her. He won the tiebreaker on it. P's tend to be high on I cards. Um, now she has to roll for chaos. She would like to go into chaos. Let's see if it happens. One or two does it. One. She does go into cast, so she has to lose half her cubes. Um, she likes this cube here because it keeps um, Sid out of the game, essentially. The other cubes are just kind of taking up space, just kind of spreading out. I think she'll keep this cube here to bother him. She likes this cube here because she could potentially Sabine raid against Cowboy with it. She definitely will get rid of this cube. And then she has to get rid of one more. So does she keep stuffing out um, Smudge, or does she keep st stuffing out Sid? I think she is going to give up on stuffing out Smudge for now, because he doesn't seem like much of a threat. It is now his turn. All right, we're at a pretty big moment. Well, big moment for Smudge is he got out of there, <laughs> so he can go somewhere else other than just being stuck there and here. Yeah, yeah, so that's really nice for him, but uh, even more exciting is for Kaz and Cat. She has a die roll to make that could bring her energy up to three. And energy three is pretty nice. It's required to go into ecology, so she could go into a golden age next turn if this works out. Um, first, how do we get there? She took this card from uh, Cowboy's discard pile, the three dentists card. Um... And now she's going to attempt to ex extract oil. Oil is hard to extract unless you have um, a lot of metallurgy and energy already because it has the two minuses, so it goes further up the table here. But she's got a double plus card. So that means she has a one in three chance of getting it. She's, she has to roll a five or a six. So let's see what she gets. Five, there we go. Okay. Um, I don't like this die, but it came with the game, so I'm using it. It just seems floaty, like you're influencing the die, but I swear I was not trying to influence it, but I could see how it would appear that way. All right, so she gets to go to energy three. Uh, that's coal and steam, so she can raise any other infrastructure thing. I think she's going to go ahead and do the metallurgy, just so that she has some more defense against cowboy. Um, yeah, she could also go with vaccines. That wouldn't be bad, but I think she's going to do that. Really, right now, what she needs to focus on is just getting more points, which are elders for her. She just got six in terms of elders, as long as they're refreshed, and culture cards. She only has two for that. Um, but her administrative capability will help her in getting more population cubes on the map. She has some other choices. So really, I think what she needs to do right now is dominate the map, and then she's good. Okay, so we got a couple refreshes. So that, that was used to do the mineral extraction of oil. And then we'll refresh this culture card here, the Hinkelstein Temple. Um, and then she gets a fecundity increase. And I think that, well, now she's got a bunch of population action. So we'll see what she does for that.
Kaya got pretty aggressive. She stole an elder from Sid. She took a card from Cowboy. Um, she put a cube on the map. What else did she do? Oh, she made Cowboy lose an elder as well through, what was that action called? Globalization. She has more elders than he has Metropoli. So yeah, real vicious, real vicious. But she's got a lot of elders. She's got, like, a good spread here, actually, so she might, if she's going to, like, close the game out soon, want to um, switch cards with someone. That's, that's something she's thinking about, though she has a lot of elders now, so maybe that's less attractive. But she's sitting on this secret card here. So if she could get something that's, like, elders and swords, that would be 12 points if she switched with Sid. With what she has right now, she's looking at 10 points, so that's better. Um, oh, no, 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 yeah, 12 points. It's not it's not elders and swords, elders and information, but the, the sum I gave you was correct. Uh, she could also do elders and information with cowboy, which would give her 12 points, assuming they're refreshed. Okay, let's move on to cowboy. Okay, cowboy got access to the special action free trade, which I've never actually used before. It's an era five thing. I don't, the game doesn't tend to stay that long in, in this mode and you kind of get your habits down. Um, he first took an elder because he took this card first of all. I guess I should note that he has fashion now. He's a fashionable cowboy um, from, from Kaz and Cat. And then he made a trade with Watermelon to up her metallurgy in exchange for three elders on his behalf. She agreed to it because really she's kind of out of the game as it stands right now, but this gives her a chance to maybe catch up later, which, you know, can't say whether she will or not, but if these two like beat each other into stasis, that gives her an opportunity next time on the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. I thought we might end it today, but it, I don't know. I don't know. I guess uh, maybe we should do one more turn with Kaz and Cat um, just to see if she does. Because she could potentially finish it out, and that would keep us from doing an episode that has like one turn and some scoring. Remember the scoreboard? It's still there. All right, Sid and Watermelon's turns have both passed. They each uh, were able to, uh, well, so Watermelon domesticated the coconut palm which allowed her footprint to go up. Very nice to have, and that's gonna make it so she doesn't have to worry about this. Uh, Sid, she did it with the elephant bird, which made her metallurgy go up, so she is now riding like ostriches type things. And um, thus, she doesn't have to worry about being bopped by everyone else who's at metallurgy too. Everyone except for um, our hobbit here, Smudge. Watermelon also is trading with Cowboy for her footprint increase. She figures if she can keep these two at relative parity, she has a better chance of coming back. And it also gave her an elder increase so that she can hopefully get some points later. She also stole an elder from Sid, who is the culture and cultural inferior to everybody right now. Uh, currently, Cowboy is the most cultural. Then we have a tie for two. And then Sid has no culture. Just a god king and hieroglyphs and tally sticks. All right, Kaz and Cat. she's not able to go out this turn. Um, her innovation is just not enough. She needs to do several things. Well, one thing she needs to do is go into a golden age. She did that, which is nice. She is in the age of ecology. Very happy place to be. Um, she also needs to either get some more elders, which she could do, or else change demographies, because right now her um, star points are very low. She would like to get switch either to police or to um, calculate or to in information as a secondary thing. That with elders would be good, I guess. So maybe switch with cowboy probably would be ideal for her right now. Um, and then she also needs to go into chaos. She's got the chaos lined up. She's hoping it doesn't happen right away. She could probably get a double fecundity decrease. In fact, she did pull one, I think. Yep to make it so that it doesn't happen. Um, she got rid of watermelon in this area. Was uh, Her trading with Cowboy was bothering her. Uh, so it was a little, little vindictive, but 
got the job done. Uh, we're going to go through and do Cowboy's last turn of the video, and then I'm going to stop it. I know it could be like one more, you know, the next turn could be the last one, but we just have to accept that as reality and that we don't know. It could be many, many more turns. We'll see. We have some global warming before we close things out. Middle of Cowboy's turn. He just took two card draws. Six. So the Ice Age is over. That's going to make things very different next turn or next time on the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Turn because uh, now all of this opens up and Smudge can flood down into the new world. Not that he's going to be able to do a lot there, but you got there, Smudge, or you're going to get there maybe next time on the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Turn. I still have to finish off Cowboy's turn, but I thought you'd want the excitement of the die rolling on camera. Despite Smudge's patience, it looks like Cowboy reached the New World first. He's heading for this oil so he can get the energy increase he needs. Uh, he also is sitting on like 12 points worth of elders. Um, is in danger of going into chaos, but you know, Cowboy's not afraid to take risks. So that's that. this is where we're gonna leave it. A whole messy situation that is fascinating for me to play. I hope you're enjoying watching it. We'll see you next time on the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We'll, we'll be doing the same video camera format. Probably do it tomorrow and maybe finish up then. All right, see you next time.